Hi guys, um, today we are going to start learning about exponential notation. So for the warm-up, um, the example was x squared equals x times x. I know you guys already know that, but this is just to make sure that we understand what that exponent really means. Um, so that means that y to the fourth power equals y times y times y times y. You're multiplying it four times. And a to the fifth means a times a times a times a times a. And that works for anything. Um, for example, ohm. Ohm, to, ohm cubed, or ohm to the third power, is ohm times ohm times ohm. Doesn't matter what the variable or number is, it still is the same rule. Um, so, a few things to be careful about with your negatives. One of them is... Um, where your parentheses are. So as you can see for number one, um, the parentheses, parentheses are around the negative three. So that tells us that that means that negative three squared means negative three times negative three. And we know that a negative times negative is a positive, so your answer is positive nine. Um, now looking at number two, there are no parentheses, okay? So that negative out front is just telling us that our answer is going to be negative. So in this case, it means negative, and then 3 times 3, which equals negative 9. So it's really important that you're able to differentiate between those two types of problems. Okay, if the negative is on the outside of the parentheses, um, that's telling you that your answer will be negative. Um, if you have um, parentheses with an exponent on the outside, you also need to remember to distribute your negative. Okay? And by distribute, I mean that every single term inside the parentheses gets squared or cubed or whatever your exponent is. So for number one, this really should say 4 squared x squared. Okay? And 4 squared is 16, so we get 16x squared. Um, for number 2, that cubed gets distributed to every single term. We get 2 cubed, a cubed, b cubed, c cubed. Okay? And we can simplify that because we know that 2 cubed is 8. So we get 8, a cubed, b cubed, c cubed. <clears throat> so it's very important to remember to distribute your exponent. <clears throat> um, another thing to be careful about is um, your negatives, okay? Uh, if you have a negative number and it is taken to an odd power, your answer is going to be negative. So looking at number 1, negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, Two of your negatives cancel out, but your answer is still going to be negative. So it's negative 27. Okay. Um, same idea for number two. Just make sure you distribute that negative. So we have negative 2 cubed x cubed. And negative 2 cubed, since there will be three negatives, is negative 8. So we get negative 8x cubed. So just remember, if your exponent is odd, you need to watch out for your negatives. Okay? Um, it's also to remember that you only distribute your exponents to the terms inside the parentheses, okay? So looking at number one, the seven is outside the parentheses, so it will not be squared. The two and the x will both be squared because they're inside the parentheses. So you only distribute to the inside. My seven stays the same. So I have seven times two squared times x squared. So it's 7 times 4 times x squared, or 28x squared. 
do not square that 7. It is outside the parentheses. Um, same idea for number 2, that x does not get cubed because it is not inside the parentheses. Okay, so you get x, y cubed, z cubed. Um, how do you get rid of a negative exponent? We never want to leave a negative exponent in our answer. And it's really easy to get rid of it. All you do, and this is how I'll say it at least, is flip it. Okay, so if you see a term that has a negative exponent, you flip it. You take the reciprocal. So instead of x to the negative 2, I flip it, and it gets rid of that negative. So I have 1 over x squared. Once you flip it, the negative disappears. Um, same idea for number 2, but sometimes you're flipping it from the bottom to the top. So here I have 1 over y to the negative third power. We can't have that negative, so y cubed gets flipped to the top over 1 or just y cubed. Remember, once you flip it, that negative disappears. Um, it's important to know that you only flip the terms with negative exponents. So look at number 3 x squared, that's a positive exponent, we leave it alone. Okay, y to the fourth, or y to the negative fourth, that's a negative exponent, so it goes to the bottom. And z to the negative eighth will also need to be flipped. Okay, but just remember, if it doesn't have a negative exponent, leave it alone. And one more um, really, really important fact to know, that if you raise any number to the power of 0, it always equals 1, okay? So there's my example, 527 to the 0 power equals 1. It works for any number, and that's a really important fact to know. And that's all for today.